everybody. This is the last window to defrost. It's taking a little while. This thermostat says minus 29, but that's with the heat of the engine warming it up a little bit. The true temperature outside here in the Paw, Manitoba is minus 32 Celsius. It is cold. Don't worry, I'm going to figure that out. One second here. What is minus 32 Celsius in Fahrenheit? Minus 32 degrees Celsius is equal to minus 25.6 degrees Fahrenheit. There you go. Plus the wind chill. Wonderful. What does it feel like outside? Does it say? It's not telling me. It doesn't even want to tell me. <laughs> All right, we got some freight to deliver. We picked it up yesterday in Winnipeg. Let's go deliver it here in Nepal and head back. We have another load waiting. Sure is a frosty one out there this morning. It dropped down even colder since I got up. It's now minus 32. In 400 meters, turn left onto Cook Avenue. quickly get this freight off the trailer so that we can uh, head on down the highway and keep warm inside the truck. outside for too long. All right, so minus 32. I gotta go get all my straps and equipment off the load. I'm gonna unload it and then we're gonna load a new load. Right here. Then I'm gonna tie that down. Then we're gonna go and enjoy the warmth of Old Blue. All the way home! It's gonna be great. Let's just focus on that. I'm actually not going home. I'm going to go pick up another load, but toward home, that way, towards the south, towards warmer, hopefully warmerness. Oh, it's cold. Okay, got a few pairs of gloves here on the dash, warming up. Three pairs to be exact. Oh, the nice and toasty warm. That's nice. I've already been out there. I've got all my equipment off. He's unloading me and reloading me now, then I gotta tie it down, so. Uh. Uh. <laughs> These are the days that aren't the greatest in trucking, but uh, you know, it's not the worst, could be worse. I haven't figured out how yet, but it could be worse. I'm all loaded up, got all my gear off, I'm trying to get comfortable and warm up. I guess a part of my stomach was exposed for just a little bit out there. Oh, got in, it was just burning. Hope I didn't get frostbite. Oh well. Ah well, is what it is. Long way from the heart, like they say. Won't kill me. Just be uncomfortable for a little while. My fault. Okay, so we're taking this load back to our yard. That's it. Punch that into the GPS. Come on. Come on. It's about a seven hour drive back. And I 
have another load waiting for me to take me down to. It's actually going to Fargo. Why are you not plugged in? I can tell that you're not plugged in by the way your volume is. Why is my GPS not charging? Ah, there we go. I had bumped it. Good thing I noticed that, otherwise it would just die out on me. God forbid I get lost in Manitoba on our like three roads. Make our way out of the paw. I don't know why they call it the paw. It's T H E, like the and paw, P A S. It's like the paws, but it's called the paw. I don't know much about this town. I don't know why they called it that or why they pronounce it that way. I'm sure there's somebody in my comment section that can educate us all. It's a pretty big little, pretty big town. Okay. I turn left onto Highway 10. Is this the one here? No, this is not it yet. No, that's not it yet. Meters, turn left on Fisher Avenue. Highway 10. This is it. Oof, a little slippery here. Oh, so this morning took a lot longer than we uh, expected, again, like usual. I was expecting just to drop off my load and head back empty. Turns out they had a reload here for me, but we didn't know until I got here. So that was a surprise. It was a nice surprise because I get paid for that then. But I still wasn't expecting it. So I wasn't mentally prepared. <laughs> it was cold. But we got it done. We got it done. Right there, bud. Come on. There you go. Well, my steers just want to push. washer wasn't lying they said it was good down to minus 35 it's minus 32 and it's still liquid so that's good that dirt is on the inside of my windshield oh man that's why you don't notice how dirty your windshield is until uh, you drive right to the sun a lot of fun pulling that thing. 
I'd love to be the driver pulling that thing, I'll tell you that. But I would need to go through some extra training and probably get some certificate or something. Here you can see on the left where the, the house met another truck. They have to put the house literally in the ditch and hope that it doesn't slide in. But what if the house slid right into the ditch They got stuck? How do you pull that out? What do you, what do you tell the tow truck operator? Like, hey, uh, we're gonna hit the ditch. All right, what kind of vehicle do you have? Uh, it's a house. What? Can you imagine that conversation? Yeah, I was just wondering if you could help me out. Uh, I hit the ditch with my house. Could you come, could you come pull it out, please? It's on the side of the road. Just, uh, just need a little, little pull to get my house out of the ditch. Dropping this trailer off, got all my equipment off of it now. My next load is just over here. This lot is just skating rink, so I've got my my cleats on. Very handy. I just slipped right over my shoes. Got them on Amazon. It's minus 28 Celsius outside right now. supposed to go down to minus 31 now and after tonight it's supposed to get progressively warmer for the next week and then in a week from now the 10-day forecast is saying that it's going to be at zero degrees or 32 Fahrenheit so it's going to be really cold this week and melting next week this is my load right here Someone was nice enough to leave the flags on it for me. That's nice. How did they... Oh, they nailed them on there. Hey, that's smart. That's smart, whoever did that. Thank you. Huh, never thought of that. You learn something new every day, right? You do it here, too? Yeah, they nailed it on there. Okay. Smart, smart, smart. Okay, so uh, a little bit... Uh, a little bit wide. Not too bad, eh? This is going down to Fargo, North Dakota. I'm gonna hook onto it now, tie it down. And then probably go down to uh, Latalia, Manitoba, close to the border, and stop there for the night. I believe I'll be out of hours for uh, United States hours of service by that point. So, won't be able to cross the border tonight. We'll get close, and we'll wake up tomorrow and we'll uh, be in Fargo probably around lunch. Maybe just before. Real simple load to tie down. Nothing, nothing big involved in it at all, really. I will have to flag it. Oh, it's been flagged in the back already. No flags in the front though. They took their flags. He took his flags back on the front. On this side too. I don't know who picked this up for me, but I do appreciate it. So thank you, whoever you are. Okay. I know my video stabilization doesn't work as well in low low light, so I'm sorry if the video is a little shaky at night times. So I gotta be very careful to hold the camera very still. But during the daylight hours, this thing has got incredible video stabilization. It's the GoPro Hero 8 that I'm using now. This is my pocket GoPro. I've got a GoPro Hero 10 as well. 
So that one doesn't do quite as well in low light situations. I'm gonna upgrade my camera soon. But uh, I wanna do some shopping around, make sure I get exactly the one I want. Uh, I want it in time for the baby. I'm gonna go and uh, go do some shopping. There's a couple I've had my eye on already. A couple of different kinds. I think it's a, it's a good reason. I, I wanna be able to capture the first moments of our baby's life in like high quality with a great camera. We'll see. Not guaranteed, but uh, the way things are looking right now, I, I think it'll probably happen. We're in a pretty good spot, so we've been preparing for this for a long time, so. If we weren't in a good spot, I wouldn't be able to be planning my paternal leave. What's up, Thunder Weasel? How you doing? Oh, has there been a smudge on this lens the whole time? I just saw that now. I'm sorry if that's the case. Shoot! I hate it when I film a big long clip like that with a smudge on the lens. Oh yeah, it's right there. Shoot! Oh, if that was there the whole time, I'm sorry. Damn, what kind of vlogger am I? The lot here was pretty full yesterday. I'm in St. Agath, Manitoba, and this is where I ended my day. I just got here and went to bed. It was pretty late. Uh, there was a lot of spots left, but there was six or seven trucks here that were parked very crooked, taking up two spots. And uh, what was really weird is there was trucks that had nosed into parking spots that would have a very hard time backing out. It's hard to explain here because <laughs> Here off to the left where the blue truck is and behind him, right, those spots face the other spots over there on the right. And all those spots on the right were full. But for some reason there was six trucks, there's still one there, a Super B behind this blue truck. I don't know if you can see it or not, my window's a little dirty. A Super B with two trailers that nosed in. And I was wondering, like when I got here last night, so he nosed in this way. And then all the parking spots behind him filled up. How is he gonna back out a Super B without hitting anybody on the way out? There was three of them like that, three Super Bs. They just pulled in, they were all taking up two spots because the trailers were all crooked. And I understand it's hard to find parking spots for Super Bs because they're longer than usual units. You have two trailers, it's hard to back them up. But I don't think that's right when they come in and they take up two spots and park all shife or all crooked. It bothered me a little bit. I almost didn't have a parking spot, but I ended up just making a spot here on the side. I think I'm right up against the snowbank in the back. I'm out of the way. I'm not blocking in that guy right there. It worked out, right? So I'm okay. I'm not in the way of the pumps. I'd rather not make a spot like this, but where else was I gonna stop? I was out of hours, right? And I wanted to stop somewhere, because it was minus 31 all night, I wanted to stop somewhere with a 24 hour building. So if my truck shuts off, I have somewhere to go in and keep warm. So that was interesting. That was my night when I got here last night, and I was so tired and a little bit frustrated by that, because uh, I have a wide load now. Uh, I think I'm about 11 foot something wide. About the same as the other one the other day and I couldn't find a parking spot because of that so uh, yeah I was a little frustrated so I just went to bed I didn't feel like talking everything turned out okay so that was my day today we uh, started in the paw we unloaded we reloaded we brought that load to the yard took my equipment back oh excuse me oh just waking up here grabbed this trailer strapped it down flagged it tagged it checked my permits, made sure I'm all good to go. And then I came here to St. Agath to fuel so I can go to bed with full tanks of fuel and have a 24 hour building. Now, in tomorrow's vlog, we're gonna leave from here and we're gonna head towards Fargo, North Dakota. Get this get this load delivered and then I'm planning on washing Old Blue. Hopefully the lineup's not too long at the Blue Beacon. And then coming home. I'll probably come home empty. It's uh, uh, got a bunch of stuff to get done at home. Got an appointment. 
to get to. Uh, so that's probably what's going to happen. And that'll be my week. I'll go home for a couple of days. And we'll uh, get out there again, try again next week. So thanks for watching today, everybody. Don't forget to hit that like button, like usual, like you always do, right? Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell beside the button so that it'll notify you when my vlogs go live. Most days, we upload a vlog. So almost every day, we upload vlogs. And we have daily vlogs like this going back over 10 years. You can go into my playlists and you can research them all by year or you can watch them all in one big playlist. Or you can just watch my videos from at home or you can watch my other videos. I have a whole bunch of playlists. I tried to organize it all for you guys to make it easier to find the video you're looking for. I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you tomorrow.